Hi everybody. Uh, today we will be building a module box with pagination in it and with a jumbot front. So that's our end result. So since we don't want our end result right now, let's just get rid of the code. And you might ask, well, why would I even care about uh, modal windows? Well, for example, if we go to this website when it loads and we go to video production. So this is what I built in the summer. So instead of making the video just appear somewhere here or using the YouTube playlist API, because for some reason people have a hard time reading it, I can just use a modal box and use some YouTube API and just make our own playlist technology. So that's one example of what we can use it for. And pagination is, well, pretty self-explanatory. So we go to Bootstrap uh, documentation. We grab the second code example. We paste it in. And we try to format it. It doesn't like being formatted. Since shipping people. OK. And go. All right. Now it looks more or less OK. So let's make an article. Inside of it, we will just need to, I guess, leave it a div. And this can be a header. This can be a footer. Well, and this body element. Sorry. And this element can be a um, section. And now almost all of our code is semantic. Well, we cannot really do anything about these two devs. At least I do not see any semantic way, may, any way to make them semantic. So, oh, and the only reason we need this this class row is to make the button appear in the center because right now it's off to the side. So let's just use mx dash auto. There we go. Centered. And that's our model. Uh, so how it works. <laughs> Basically, this as you can see here, it's data targeting targeting mo example model. Data toggle is model. So this is for bootstrap side of uh, jQuery and JavaScript. Uh, button primary basically make gives us the gives it this nice color button the btn class actually just styles it mm, and id example model just same as the target mm, and i think that's it model dialog and so on just i guess makes it looks nice look nice and uh, Model header, I'm guessing, is what the thing that makes it stay on top. And I believe it has a different, a slightly different color, but my eyes are not the best, so I think it's slightly more gray. Uh, model body is basically this white stuff in the middle, and footer, model footer is just these two buttons. Don't need the save changes button, so we can just get rid of it. And we can add here button uh, warning just to make it a different color, right? So now you can see that this is close, so it's warning. And now we need pagination. Yep, pagination, that's what I want. So this is what we can just grab. It's already made semantic for us, so 
we don't have to do anything about it. Instead of title, we will have a semantic HTML navigation. So let's make number three active. And since we are number three, we cannot go to next because it's the last one. So let's make it disabled. Uh, let's see if it works. Oh, almost. Mm, oh, that's, that's the wrong place. We need these in page item class. Whoop, there we go. There we go. That's what we want. And we technically could give it a. Yeah, let's try. Let's test the UL. I think we need to center those in nav. Row. Actually, let's try here. Nope. So we need to center the navigation itself. Yep, there we go. It's more or less centered. So now we will go here and grab a Jumbotron. Just so it has, and this is the fluid Jumbotron, the one we need, we want because that's, that's responsive. And we paste it here. And format the code. And voila! We have exactly what we wanted. Now in JavaScript, we could just unclick all these and add to each one that has add the class active to each one that is clicked and then change the insides of this. But that's not really in the scope of Bootstrap. So yeah, if you want, you can go crazy with this, but I'm going to finish here. And uh, only one thing that I would like to do is just make this more semantic. So a side, and there's not really a lot we can do here. That's a container anyway, so yeah, not really much we can do here. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, did I get everything? Oh, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that was the link, okay. Okay, I hope it was shorter than 10 minutes. And yeah, so have fun with Bootstrap.